What's up to the people? Hold on, do, do it again. <laughs> Fuck. Do it again, how about? What's up to the people? Long time since I've been on the channel. <laughs> All right, what is going on, fellas? You guys are joining me for what I believe is episode six of our road to a 600 pound bench press. Today we are going to be doing just the banded bench press that I generally do on my tertiary day. We're gonna shut it down after that because I have a strongman contest tomorrow. Um, I elected to do the banded bench and none of the accessories because my first and foremost goal is chasing down that 600 bench press right now. And I kind of want my training to reflect that. I'm kind of training through this contest and not peeking for it uh, like I might sometimes. Um, so I decided I wasn't going to miss a bench press session. We're going to do our standard. I got four sets uh, with, I don't know what the weight is off the top of my head, but I got four sets trying to accumulate as much volume as I can uh, across four working sets, averaging about RPE seven, trying to gr drill good technique, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. Uh, the contest, we're gonna see how that goes. My back is still pretty badly jacked up. And uh, while I could tell you guys, I probably should take like a token deadlift, uh, take it easy on the squat uh, to not kind of regress that any further. Cause I've been having a hard time sleeping. Any position seems to be jacking me up right now, trying to sleep. Um, I'm probably going to get ahead of steam. I'm going to go out on my shield and I'm going to compete and I'm probably going to jack myself up and I know that. Uh, so we're, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to show up. I'll probably take you guys along with me uh, for the weigh-ins for fun, but that's where we're at. We're going to do some banded bench press today, but no accessory work because we're rolling into the uh, contest tomorrow. The Viking press should go fine. I'm a good presser. So even if my triceps are a little bit gassed, I expect to do decent on that. So I figured, okay, cool. I've got a little leeway on my pressing stuff. I can reflect my goals with how I approach this week. The back is going to be touch and go though. Uh, the podcast with Mr. Alex Leonidas went up. You guys, some of you guys have been telling me uh, that you enjoyed it, which made me very happy. I, I like when you guys enjoy uh, the stuff that I do. Um, but I was kind of electing to not read the comments because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a sensitive guy. Uh, sometimes I'll read over all the positive comments and just kind of gloss over them. And I'll see one that really annoys me and I'll ruminate over it for an hour and I'll mess with my day. So it's a net negative, not a net positive. And why do stuff that's a net negative? So I decided, oh, I just won't read the comments. That's not a big deal. That's easy. Until uh, Mr. Max decided he was going to read me some of the ones that he thought was funny. Uh, and one of them I did think was pretty funny. Some guy called, some guy called me a narcissist because I, was, I didn't really plan on having kids, which I might adopt at some point, which I don't know if that gets me bonus points. Points. But uh, he said I was a narcissist because I wasn't having kids and that he wants to have a bloodline. And I know that's like some this part of this like new age, like Zoomers embrace tradition type of thing. And I think there's some good shit. I think there's some good takeaways from that message. But this obsession with bloodline really cracks me up. It sounds very odd to me. Uh, and I thought it was really funny. That he's like, oh, yeah, you're a narcissist. I want to have a bloodline personally. I thought it was very funny because it's like if the reason you want to have a kid is because you want to have a bloodline, not because you think you could be a good parent. Uh, I don't think you're too much better off than I am in terms of the narcissism chart. But uh, And then he signed off the comment with like, good information though, I enjoyed it. Fuck, that's, that was kind of funny. I thought that was funny. Didn't bother me at all. That one was a good one. All right, greetings there, fellas. I have just returned from grocery shop and getting all the uh, comp day goodies. Uh, generally for comp days, I follow more or less my standard diet. Plus, I always eat pretzels. That's a staple for Max and I because it sits well. Your appetite's going to be pretty trash on comp day. So something that's easy to eat, gets you a lot of sodium, helps you maintain your hydration status. Uh, a couple of electrolytes, a couple of Gatorades, um, a couple of bananas, and then I'm just bringing my Tupperwares of uh, my standard shit. Um, Benching went damn good today. Don't feel too tired at anything other than the pecs, which really shouldn't throw off my strongman tomorrow. Um, really, really solid session. Um, I believe I ended up getting straight eights on these uh, top set of 375 plus bands. Here's me interjecting something. All right, first set down, uh, 375 on the straight weight. Who the hell knows on the band tension? Probably about 2,000 pounds, uh, if I were to guess. Um, honestly, it feels pretty heavy in a good way. Like, not heavy, heavy uh, in terms of they're still moving fast, but like a good heavy weight to accumulate volume at. Eight on the first one is great. Probably going to look for eight on the second one here because um, I didn't undershoot that first set. That's probably about a seven, if I were to guess. So we're going to go again, kind of see where we're at, but feels good and heavy. Um, those are going well. Also, my theory was right. Uh, for the longest time, I was filming my videos uh, training on a GoPro. And it's got a bit of a fisheye lens like GoPros do. And I always had it in the back of my head. I'm like, maybe the fisheye lens is making me look smaller. 
maybe I actually look a little bit bigger than I look in these videos. And lo and behold, as soon as I started filming on a non fisheye lens, I get a bunch of comments that are like, Oh, you gained weight recently. You're looking way bigger on cycle. And it's like, no, I'm the exact same size I've been for a hot minute. I'm just not using a fisheye anymore. I promise this was the same size I was, but my fear, the, my, I thought that was just me being delusional and like, what I look like in the fish islands, oh, Sam, that's what you actually look like. Why do you think you look bigger than that? You're fucking, you're an idiot. I was right. Okay, uh, me being out of breath and rambling aside, um, I'm back again. Uh, yeah, ended up doing straight eights. Uh, the first set felt to be about RPE7. I'm okay, I'm, I'm I mean, average RPE7. Usually I'll undershoot that first one and overshoot the last one to average out, uh, just to use that first set as a feeler, but I kind of wanted straight eights. That was something I had in mind today to hit 32 total reps, pretty good volume marker at this weight. Because like I said, with the bands, this is a pretty heavy volume weight for me. Very curious to see where my maximal strength is at on these. Um, but second set also felt like about RPE7. Um, same thing on the third set. Felt like it was right around in that pocket of difficulty that I'm looking for in the hypertrophy phase. Came into the last set planning on doing six because I was like, I, I feel pretty fatigued at this point. I'm not going to get straight eights just because it sounds pretty. My goal is to hit RPE sevens across the board ish uh, to average out to it. But I made it to my six reps in that I kind of initially suspected. I was like, man, these are feeling good. These are well shy of that seven. Uh, I'll go for the last two. Last one was a little harder than I would like, probably closer to an eight. But uh, honestly, was was pretty fucking stoked with this. Okay, uh, we finished up the workout, hopped in the car, we just got to the gym, hopefully nobody sees me talking to my phone like a weirdo, uh, we're going to go weigh in, I'm competing in the open, in uh, local shows I always do the open because the weights are a little heavier, um, and from a static perspective, I'm pretty over prepared, um, so I always enter the open, have some more competition, it's a lot more fun that way, uh, so it doesn't really matter what I weigh, I'll probably weigh in about 262 after a couple of meals, um, and then also Kirsten apparently told me she weighed in this morning because she's also doing it. So even if we don't post my stuff because my back cramped up and it didn't go good, we'll probably post some of Kirsten's. Um, she says some of the stuff is set up and they're allowing like equipment testing. So I might go get a feel for the deadlift height. I might get a feel for how my back will hold up for that and uh, how I'm going to position my feet on the squat apparatus. Maybe I'll give the uh, Viking press a feel. Um could practice the bag toss. We shall see. Uh, don't really need to practice the uh, farmer's hold for time. Okay, your boy is a big old bitch, and uh, I was too embarrassed to take out the uh, the phone to film inside for the weigh-ins and for the equipment testing. Uh, but the guy running the show is super nice. I like that guy a lot. Um, I told him I'm hurt, and he was very nice about it, right? Because, you know, I always feel bad because I want to I wanna put on a little bit of a show but uh, he, was, he was super nice about it. We did a little bit of equipment testing, practiced a little bit of bag toss, which my back actually held up really well for that, uh, but I was throwing like half contest weight to avoid fatiguing it. Um, very hopeful that'll go fine. I think I'll be, that's one of those ones I'll be able to suck it up and perform. I think I'll be able to suck it up and perform on the squat. The problem is the second event is this, uh, the heavy deadlift. It's 18 inches, but it's on a stiff bar, which is a better test of strength in my opinion. When you do 18 inch pulls on the deadlift bar, you take the slack out of the bar, it's like well above the knee. It's kind of just a hands and thigh lift. I'm not a huge fan of it. So um, I almost would prefer it was a deadlift bar for once in my life because I think that might be easier on my back, but uh, that means the absolute loads being lifted are gonna be a good bit less. So I guess I'm not too upset about the fact that it's a uh, stiff bar. I'm actually, it's probably fine. Um, did a little practice on that. The squat apparatus, I think I'm going to be able to position my feet in such a way that I can uh, just suck it up and my back's going to hurt like a motherfucker. I probably won't sleep uh, tomorrow night, but uh, I think we'll be able to get it done, man. I'm going to take, I'll bring my phone. Um, my pops is coming into town because uh, he wants to watch and we haven't seen each other in a while because he lives over in Washington. So I will have him hold my phone and get some videos. Um, Waiting in at 260, way too late to be midday, three meals deep, 260. Um, mentally, we're full hog. The body weight, not full hog. Gotta eat more tonight. Gotta go full hog. 